Hello YouTube! I'm back, kind of. No, not really. But I figured I might as well get a video in now and again. Because, really... It's not fun if I'm not playing. And we're grade locked. Which means this is totally going to be an interesting game. I need to make more backgrounds. More backdrops. And then I have to teach Natsu how to do the thing as well. The backdrop. But whatever, here's Pain Daughter. We're just gonna even just put it here, because why not? Well Get the Chinoir, which is totally useful right now. Watch, I'm going to grade lock. It's going to happen. I don't even have to try. Oh, look! A grade 2! Oh, there's another grade 2. Everything is fine. Oh yeah, I need to fix these images too. Photoshop is an amazing creature. And, yeah. Basically. He's not gonna guard and I'm gonna get Paint Otter! Ooh! That means basically I have fun times. Fun times are next. Oh, here's Alfred and Escurado. Escurad. Escurad is not a card you see all the time, but whatever. It's what he has, and that's what's gonna happen. I don't want him to hit, so I'm gonna guard and reveal that I have stance triggers. I wonder what that'll make him think. So here's Chinoir, and we're gonna ditch the other Chinoir to play, um, here's Adamos. Just gonna sit there and be chill. And might as well use a skill too. He's not gonna guard, but whatever. Get that heal trigger. Get that heal trigger. Get that critical trigger. Crit Vanguard. Fun times. You ditch a grade 3, you get 3 triggers, which is a lot of guard. He's gonna straight up ditch Cheer Up Trumpeter, so he can play Lou. I'm not going to argue with that logic at all. Get a heal trigger, okay. Also get a Lou. I lose Leopold Reverse. He's gonna punch me again, but since he got that trigger, he's a 21. So I'm just gonna let him. Anything he calls won't do anything anyway. Except fill his field. So here's a duck bill. It's not very useful right now. I'm going to hold back and swing for 18. I should attack his rear guard. That would be fun. Get a paint daughter. Get a Guru Wolf, which is, in this situation, probably one of the best cards out there. For great nature, anyway. Because there's so many shenanigans. He is going to ditch Alfred to stride into Camp Bell. Camp Bell is just going to attack, but I'm at 2 damage. He can probably call something big. No, it's 
Fine! No guard. Strongest no guard. He gets a perfect guard. Which does quite infuriate me. Now the thing is, Escarado can't use his skill. He has Zenith. It gains 2,000 power. I guess. That's useful. Escarado doesn't matter because it needs open rear guards. But I'm going to guard anyways because... Um, frankly... It doesn't... There's not much to worry about. Alright, let's break ride into Leopold Reverse. Um, Paint Otter Skill. I get 10,000 power because it's a break ride. Guru Wolf Tank Mouse. Blackboard Parrot Skill. Duckbill skill. And we call a pain daughter to the front. Because why not? Okay, we're going to lock this to give the front row 4,000 power. We're going to do the same here. Um, the reason I'm doing this first is because I want to figure out what magic number I need to hit for this. 21. 21, 25, okay, it's fine. We're just going to give more power here. And then even more power. Because we are ridiculous. And we must go as far in as possible. Which is to say, we're also going to use this to attack first to give this even more power. If this has 20,000 power, when it hits the vanguard, I get to draw a card! Here's 21. He's not going to guard, and I'm going to get Duckbill, and Duckbill. Get to draw trigger. I'm going to attack and get another 4,000 power, because Shinoir is amazing. 33! which he's going to want to guard, because otherwise I get to draw a ton of cards. I get to draw a ton anyways, because I used its skill twice, and I used Duckbill, and I also used Blackboard Parrot, so I draw four cards! He is also going to break ride into Gancelot, which is totally fine. He's gonna play Fallon. He's gonna swing for 38. Oh, better be sent by. Stop. Oh yeah, this goes to the drop zone and then come back. Blah blah blah. Um, I am going to no guard. I don't need it. Oh yeah, since I had a pain daughter in the front row, I am able to use Leopold even though I locked the other one. Uh, you gotta heal. I'm not really inclined to care that much. Um, we're gonna guard. Guard. This is a 23. And we're gonna... Guard and guard. Stand a draw. Ooh. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. First things first. Rest. Give this four thousand power. We're gonna call set square penguin because I have a stride. I can use penguin skill, so I get to draw a card when this dies again. I'm in four damage already, so I'm going to replace this with this. Bill skill. Lock, lock, lock. This gets another 12,000, so this gets 16,000 net, and this gets 12,000 net. Honestly, the tank mouse doesn't matter. 
Oh well. Um, here's 25. Can I have some draws? He let me draw! Yes! He let me draw! Thank you! Thank you for letting me draw cards. Here's 11. At your face. No pass, I get to Peer and Shellmaster. Here's 21 at your face. He takes it too. End turn, unlock, unlock, unlock. Drop, drop, draw two cards. S other skill. This comes back. Uh, here. And this comes back. In case you haven't noticed, this is very mean. Draw. We have both have ridiculous hands, actually. So this could be very close, honestly. Um, we're going to guard with a Tapir and our set square penguin. He's going to swing for 18, which we're going to guard. That hand, though, is... Honestly, pretty hard to get through. Maybe what I'll do in a few turns is just stride and try to kill him, but stride isn't even gonna help. Great Nature's strides are mediocre at best. Okay, anyway, let's call Crayon Tiger, which is an excellent card. We're gonna drop Duck Bill for another Tank Mouse, which we're gonna rest both give this 8,000 power, then we're going to lock both to give this 8,000 more power, and also this 8,000 power. Yes! So, here's a 25 again. He's going to guard with 15, pretty standard. We're going to use this, and we're going to use our Generation Break to stand this. Also, I get to draw another card. Hooray. He's going to guard again. Here's a rather measly 11, because whatever. He's going to guard for no pass. Twin Drive first check, heal trigger. I don't get the heal. Second check, ooh, it would have been nice if I put it all in the... no. It's a no-pass. I forgot. Now he's gonna perfect guard. Alright. Please die. Please come back. Standard stuff. Whoops. Wrong way. Anyways, have fun have a lot of fun with that. Ooh, he's got the cross ride again. That's a little dangerous. Only a little. Honestly. He's gonna swing for 12 first. So we're gonna guard with Sleepy Tapir. Here's a 38, which we're gonna guard. A perfect guard. I'm gonna play something at the bottom of this deck. Get another Fallon! Because amazing. Huh. Oh, this might be a little problem now. I can take one hit though. This is the bigger hit, so I'm going to guard this. Yeah, that's pretty big. Thankfully, I have damage to spare from guarding all the early attacks. I have another tank mouse, but it's not going to help much now. So this gets 16, and this gets 8. And then this is a nice 25 anyways. I'm still hitting kind of magic-y numbers. He has... 
Oh, wow. How much guard is that? Enough! Okay. Generation break? Pity you only have one card in your hand, which means I'm going to attack Fallon with Leopold. Twin drive, first check, second check. Get a stand trigger. Because... Let's be insulting. Okay, goodbye. Do you have another Quintet? No, he does not have another Quintet wall. So that's the game. But let's look at it. He had three cards left in his deck. He could not attack without decking out. He would have decked out. I probably was supposed to draw a few more cards, actually, but I was not close. I was kind of close to decking out, but he was closer. And um, that's just too bad. Because my big numbers beat your big numbers. That's all I can say. Um, what do I think of Great Nature right now? They're very good at making big numbers, and uh, they have problems doing anything else. Guru Wolf is really good at the big numbers game, though. Especially in this kind of deck, because he puts down the pressure, makes him, uh, lets you draw if you hit. I have eight stands. I have Crayon Tiger, which also stands. Um, there's a lot of interesting cards, I'd say. There's more coming, too, so... Um, there's the new card, Contradiction Master... Uh, Contradiction Instructor... Yeah, Contradiction Instructor... Tusk Master, which... If you remember Polaris, which... It's Limit Break lets you stand to 4,000. It did the same thing! So, that's going to be fun, because you can run a sort of, again, Chinoir Polaris kind of build with it. But it also works as a rear guard, and it's very interesting. But the only problem with Great Nature is they are a tank deck. Their specialty is just big numbers, but, like, yeah, that's all they do. They do kind of big numbers, like these 21s on board, 26s, kind of weak vanguard, depends on what build you're playing, and, but stride helps with that, and drawing cards, but if your opponent also draws cards, but they do something else, like if they're Kagero and they retire your units, you can't do anything, so... Anyway, Great Nature's really fun, though, so... This has been Ace Master of Team Fairy Tale. Subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys maybe in a few weeks, because work is tough. Yeah, bye!